Hey everybody, how you all doing? It's Jim Buda, Brat Captain, with your Brat Magazine Weekend Race Report. Take four. You know, I first take productions, right? I just do it and it's gone, but, you know, I had all kind of issues today. My iPad was MIA for a while, and, and then I tried to do things on my phone, and, and I got a phone call, and it just, it, it cut the whole, it stopped the whole video. I don't, I don't know what happened. And, and then I did it on a, a, a video camera, all right? File was this big, wouldn't fit, couldn't get, it's still trying to go onto YouTube for crying out loud. Three hours later, I promise you this by noon. I'm getting old, man. I don't have time to wait on that. So I'm doing take three, right? And my phone rings again, and it's a guy I had to talk to. I've been waiting all day. Not that you guys aren't more important, but, you know, take four, baby. Skip Stoner Memorial Oxbow Hair Scramble put on by the South Penn Enduro Riders Combo D6. East Coast Enduro Association Hair Scramble went down this past weekend in Frackville, Pennsylvania. Tell you, man. Good, good stuff. We started Saturday with the kids. It was a beautiful day. Nice weather. No rain till Saturday night. You know, what's a day in Pennsylvania without a little bit of rain or a lot of rain, depending where you're... Hey, it rained a lot Saturday night, but Saturday we had great racing. The Pee Wee kids kicked it off around noontime, just under a three-mile course. All right, there in Frackville. Uh, it was Enzo Zakira. 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 I, I can't pronounce these hair scramble people's names, and I, I'm sorry I'm not making fun of any of you, but... I'm just challenged, I guess. Anyhow, Enzo, number 125, first place, followed by Cameron Popick, number 52, and Tanner Evans, 319, in the Pee Wee Divisions. All right, went off at noon. Junior's up after that, three-and-a-half-mile course. They lined up. What happened? I don't know. Where's my notes? Oh, that Sacanicas kid, Austin. He took the win again. F followed by Carter, the Pretzel, Presbo, Wooski, Skalskis. I can't say it. I'm sorry, dude. Not making fun. Ryder Sigety, third place. All right, okay. Youth racing went down after that. Guess what? Something happened, man. They went out there. Great hole shots. Bam, bam, bam. They're flying around there. They sent them out on or something. Somehow somebody, they ended up on the adult loop. It was supposed to be like a seven and a half mile loop for these guys. They ended up on an 11 mile loop. Took them about an hour, hour and a half to get them all back in. They restarted the race in the end. What happened? Bam. You think I would know? I was there. Oh, I wasn't there for that. Okay. Youth Racing, Kyle Grenowitz off the second line, the 12 13 Super Mini. Took the overall, followed by Ian Wiseman, Cole Hickman. Great racing guys. Saturday night, poured like crazy. Got back up there Sunday morning, mud everywhere. Typical race fashion for Pennsylvania the last 19 years. Anyhow, the last two, anyhow. Kyle McDoodle, McDonald. Kyle McDonald, double A's off the line. Kyle's in the back of the pack on the inside, but maybe he snuck up through there. I don't know. Took him about three laps to get by Beeler and uh, Moan. Jarrett Moan led the first lap. Okay, good, good racing. And uh, McDonald in the end, he, he led the last two or three laps. It was six laps total on the main event on Sunday. 11-mile course. Took two hours and 16 minutes to get it done. Uh, the uh, morning race, the C race there, I was under the tent. And uh, by the way... Before I forget, this blog is sponsored by Pro Action Suspension, Reese Firestone, Pro Action Suspension, authorized, certified Pro Action, authorized service center since 1999. Some of you guys weren't even around then, okay? Reese knows how to make your suspension work. If you aren't happy with what you got, you're getting a new bike, you want to try something different, give Reese a call. I'm going to put all his info in the blog here. Check him out. You can email him, call him. He's got a website too. Call the dude. He's like me. He likes phone calls. Anyhow, morning race. I was under the tent. Willie Holmes, they said, was the overall winner, but I get home and they're showing Chris Silverman taking the overall with Holmes in second. I don't know. Give him a call. I don't know what happened. Great race in East Coast Enduro Association. District 6, AMA District 6. They're coming back in two weeks at Roar, Reading Off-Road Riders, not far over in Tamaqua from where we were this weekend. Same property owner, okay? Combo event. Got to be there. Brad Captain will. Later.